You may launch processes directly in the background by postfixing them with an ampersand. Example, PS ampersand. Let's say that I want to launch a, a process directly in the background. To do that, all I need to do is, is postfix it with the ampersand. You know, you know, now again, if I'm moving it back and forth between the foreground and, and the background, I prefix it with the percent. But if I launch the process and I postfix it with the ampersand instead of prefixing it with the percent, it would simply start in the background. So in other words, to do that, let's say I was going to do foo1, and if I pass in the ampersand, then you know there's the process ID, so there's jobs. And I could do the same thing with foo2. Foo2, use the ampersand, and launch that in the background. And again, if I use the jobs command, there's job1 and job2. And the same rules apply where I, if I wanted to bring it to the foreground, I'll bring job1 to the foreground. So it would be percent, um, the percent symbol, and prefix it, and then the job ID. And I could do control C and stop the process. And now if I do jobs, I only have two running in the background. Um, and if I wanted to bring two to the back, uh, back to the foreground, again, it would be foreground, percent, and the job ID 2. And I could stop the process. And now I have no jobs running. The no help command allows executing a background process even when the user logs off the system. Another useful command to use with foreground and background processes is the no help command. And what that'll let you do is you can launch a process in the background. Let's say you want to log out and go to lunch somewhere. You don't want to really leave your system open. You want to be able to kind of log out and lock down the terminal, but maybe you don't you don't want the particular background process to stop. You want it to keep executing or running in the background. Maybe it's like a batch process or something. So what I would do is I would prefix the command with no hop. And let's say I'm going to do foo2. foo2 and I'll use the ampersand to launch it in the background. And remember that that particular command, what it does is it simply pings Google. So I'm going to go ahead and exit and I'm going to log out and you know say we'll go to lunch. So my terminal is locked and it's running in the background. So now I come back from lunch and I open up my terminal. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And remember that that script file, what it did is it pretty much just called the ping command. So if no help works the way it's supposed to, it should still be running in the background. I'm going to go ahead and grep for that process. So I logged out, locked my terminal, went to lunch. I came back, PSAUX. I'm going to go ahead and grep for the ping command that's in that script file. And notice there it is, it's still pinging Google. Poor Google. At least we give Google a break here and bring it back to the foreground. So um, I could either kill that process by the PID here, so I could kill 4933, or if I wanted to, I could bring it back to the foreground. So um, in this case, I'm just gonna kill 4933, and if I list my running processes, now I'm no longer pinging Google. So just an example of the no hub command and an example of you know, altering the default priorities. The top command, a looping interactive process manager that displays processes ordered by CPU utilization. It can find row processes, kill processes, or change their priority. Let me open a command prompt and um, let me zoom in. And um, you know, I just want to run the top command. And when I type top, notice that it gives me a list of processes ordered by the percentage of the CPU that they're using. And this is a nice tool to give you real-time you know, output, so to speak, and feedback as far as processes running on your system. Here's some man page. Um, and just, you know, there are many different options and things you can use top to both you know, view, monitor, and control processes. In summary, we've looked at many Linux command line tools to manage and manipulate processes. Unlike their GUI counterparts, these tools are pretty much standard and available in all flavors of Linux, be they Ubuntu, Fedora, Suzy, you name it. True, in addition to the command line tools we've examined in this five-part series, there are many free open source GUI tools that offer many of the same capabilities. But that is a tale to be told at another time, and in many different ways for many different flavors of Linux.